another Chanel collection has come out. It is the 20K or the Fall Winter Act 2 collection. Not only are we going to discuss yet another beautiful Chanel collection, I'm also going to talk about the standout trends or standout pieces that I personally like, as well as I want to know from you comment down below what are the pieces that you particularly like or the color or the material and what are you planning to get hello my name is amy and on this channel we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion so if you're new here consider subscribing the really standout colors from this collection that i noticed that i was really really attracted to was white burgundy and especially with the color white i have not seen a collection in the past in one collection there are so many many beautiful white color pieces we're talking about all kinds of material not only caviar calfskin lambskin there's also shearling tweed also noticing some pearls and some crystal embellishments on a lot of the bags i also noticed a lot of airpod cases which is kind of like the trend lately and finally a very baroque style jewelry pieces i love a good burgundy i actually own the gabrielle bag from the 19b collection from last year so it's from the fall winter act one collection from last year this year i find that it's a little bit more brown as well but also mauve at the same time it's very very similar actually starting with the new handbags of the season really beautiful baroque jewelry ornaments on some of their bags they have some new shape we're also seeing a lot of white this particular white bag is so attractive to me i have not seen this collection in person so all of the observations that i'm going to make in this video are judging from the photos and the description on the website these first couple bags here are in lambskin with this beautiful embellishment on the shoulder strap i think if you're in the market for a mini flap that these would be really good to consider they are seasonal because they are not not lined and constructed the same way as the classic ones but I still think that they are beautiful so looking at this one it looks like it's fabric line it's lambskin and like I said this season they have done a lot of white if I was after a white handbag this would be one I would definitely consider and just this really pretty strap I mean it is very trendy um, so you might get tired of it in the long term, but if you're just looking for something a little different, I really, really like this. Like I said, from picture, I really like the look of it. And even just from uh, the runway show itself, when the girls were wearing it, it just looks so, so, so pretty. Just under $5,000 and the rectangle version is a couple hundred dollars more. So I would say that both are just as good options. Again, I don't know what the strap drop is like, but if you tried it in person, let me know how you find it. Um, I would be so curious to know. A little bucket bag in shearling that's really cute personally i wouldn't really buy it myself unless i was really after a specific look a specific kind of wintry shearling look but it's so so darn cute so i mean if you like it go for it if you're after a specific look or if you're kind of a collector's moving right along more shearling more white color what did i tell you and also these two the price are a lot higher because they are embellished in crystals so if you take a look at the strap and of the cc there is a lot of really beautifully done embellishments on it look at the details of it it's just so stunning so of course if you're a collector and if you really love this one and you're able to spend this kind of money then go for it but personally if i was looking for a specific shearling bag and in white color i mean this is so dreamy don't you agree i really love the combination how they're doing the whole bag is so fluffy the price is more reasonable again it's just a seasonal bag it's just for fun they also have the embellished version it's very extra i would imagine that some people would love to get this one why not 
Uh, again, mini bags, really cute. These are the Baroque style embellishment, which they did a lot on their costume jewelry as well. Love this burgundy color. I think that Chanel does burgundy really well. It's not too brown. It's not too red. It's just the right amount of burgundy. It's quite cute. It's very small. So I don't believe that a Max phone will fit, but I really love the look of it. If I mean, the price seems okay. I think we are all adjusting to their higher prices, obviously, which is why I'm saying that it seems okay. But again, keep in mind that it's a very small bag. The width is only 15 centimeters or just under six inches. Max phone will definitely not fit. But I love, love, love the combination of the Baroque style. They also have this green color. And I believe that they also have this in black as well. Not something that I personally would go for just because I don't have a need for these, but I just love the aesthetic so far, especially with the Baroque style. I feel like it's very, it's very appealing to me. Again, this medallion, a little mini flat bag, Again, another seasonal bag in lambskin, a very small size. This one is a little wider than the one previously, and it also looks a little plushier, so maybe it will fit more as well. They also have this burgundy version. So this burgundy looks a little bit more brown, but still a very pretty purple brown burgundy, which I love. I think it's very pretty shade of burgundy. Moving right along to these new diamond flaps. Interesting, aren't they? It's very novelty. It's actually much bigger than I thought, 20 by 20 centimeters. So in inches, almost eight inch by eight inches. So it's really not bad dimension wise. Love the camellia detail zip here. And the shape is interesting. It's just that I'm not in the market for something like that, but I, I just really like it. I just think that it looks cute. This one is in lambskin, a yellow color. It's a little steep for a novelty item, but it's okay. Um, it's, you know, once in a while you have to treat yourself. This season, there are quite a few different Coco handles that came out. I'm never really a big fan of tone on tone in general, but if you are, then go for it. Except also keep in mind that this one looks like it's a magnetic closure. Honestly, I don't favor the magnetic closure. I, I think practically speaking, it's good, but I just really love to be able to do up a turn lock, a Chanel turn lock, especially just because it feels so good doing it. So I'm not particularly interested in this one myself, but if you love the look, go for it. If I was in the market for a vanity, something a little different, I would definitely consider this. I think it's quite reasonable price-wise. Shiny lambskin, again, I have not seen it in person, but it really looks very attractive to me. I would probably just go for the larger size versus the smaller one though. Super mini cocoa handle, interesting. I always knew that this existed, meaning that this size, I always knew that it existed, but I have never seen it until now. So this is the tone on tone one with the magnetic closure. It's very cute. The cocoa handles definitely have gone up in price and especially with the tone on tone, they are usually more expensive. With this dimension, 19 centimeters across, with the more narrow opening, I'm not so sure a Max phone will fit. So perhaps some of you can let us know down below. This is interesting. <laughs> it's kind of like a very crumpled pillow bag, but in a mini version. Not my favorite look. I, I don't mind a pillow bag because I own one. I own the Chanel 19, but that one is very smooth looking. So personally speaking, not a fan of this, but I'm sure some people are. Calf skin, just kind of like a square dimension. Moving right along, looks like the fall winter 20K collection is all about the reissues again. This color, the pistachio color is actually quite nice. And they also have the tone on tone, so black. I often get asked whether I love the reissue. I do. I don't think I need more than one because I already have a very limited edition one from the Métier d'Art collection from last year, which is their graffiti, unless they have a magnificent color that I cannot pass up. 
I most likely won't be buying another one. You guys already know I'm a big, big fan of drawstring, especially bucket bags from Chanel. This particular one, I love that they did this shape. So a bit more structured, looks very easy to get in and out. Only things that I want to critique about this one is that I don't really like the drawstring part. I much prefer the one that I have, which is the actual intertwined leather chain, which is so beautiful. It looks like jewelry. And I also don't really like that the corners of this one are so sharp. Speaking of white, here's another white bag. This one in tweed. It looks like a mini rectangular shape. So darn cute. I love it. I feel like if you're in the market for a white bag, don't buy one that's super expensive unless you want to and unless you can afford it, of course. But usually if I were to go for a risky color, then I would just go for something less expensive just because you can always ruin a white bag. So I, I think that this tweed is actually quite acceptable. I'm going to skip these three because I am not particularly interested in them. Plus they are very expensive. This one is cute. I'm loving, again, the burgundy accent, especially when juxtaposed when they do this color blocking. I just find this very pretty. I don't know what it is. I also saw this on the runway, which could be why I'm so influenced, but I just love the details on this one. This extra thicker shoulder break, the color blocking. I don't know. It looks very fall, obviously. It's very small as a bucket bag, but it's just one of those really cute ones. And I'm finding that this season's seasonal bags are in the more acceptable price range. I also spoke about pearl embellishments, and this is one of them. Calf skin, mini rectangle shape. So cute. Obviously, it's a seasonal piece. Very, very attractive. I am so intrigued. This one is one to consider. I... I really do think so. This one is interesting, 26 centimeter wide, so it's medium flap size. I love a good top handle. It's nice. I just don't have a need for this. Chanel 19, you guys already know I'm a big fan. If you're after one, get it earlier because it will always keep going up in price. This gray tweed is very pretty. If I wanted a tweed bag and if I wanted it in gray, I would get it. It's so nice. Not joking, especially because I'm into white and black, but sometimes I don't want to wear black all the time and white is a dangerous color. So gray is a good in between medium, which is why I love the color gray. This velvet is also quite nice, but with velvet bags, one season you like it, the next you don't, or you might like it one season and then not touch it for a couple years and go back to it. So it's kind of one of those fabrics that you really either have to love velvet a lot or you just won't be reaching for it all the time. So I would rather get tweed in this case, but that's just me. In the leather version, they also have this burgundy one, which apparently is in crumpled calfskin. That's a first. It looks a little less luxurious to me because mine is in the lambskin and it does have a shiny or lambskin finish. So this, although the color is very pretty, I just find it a little plastically looking, judging just from these photos. Obviously in person, it could look very different. I'm just not so sure about the calfskin part just because mine is in lambskin and lambskin is just so, so luxurious. Deauville tote that are made of shiny calfskin. Again, it sounds very heavy to me and it is so expensive. I don't know what just happened with the prices of their Deauville, maybe because it got so popular and I guess they're trying to do a different finish. Definitely won't be getting these, but I still do love the look. Like I said, I really love the look of this entire collection. A shopping bag that can fold that you can wear as a clutch as well. Let's take a look at the dimension actually. Yeah, 26 by 34. So it would it would be 34 in height, right? That's the height of the bag. It would be 34 centimeters high and 20 some centimeters wide. It's a decent size. Definitely can fit a bit more than your mini bag. We're back to the color blocking flaps that they're having this season. Another seasonal bag in rectangular shape. I'm loving the fact that they're doing a lot of the rectangular mini or the square mini shape bags in seasonal styles. 
And I particularly love this design and color blocking. I already told you guys earlier when I saw the bucket bag. So I'm a big fan of this. And here's a larger version. So this one is 26 and a half centimeter wide. So it, it really is more of a medium flap length. So nice. I love it. I'm going to skip over this one. Even when I go for seasonal pieces, I still wanted to have a classic element to it. And these two have the classic flap look to me um, with the twist, which is why I am so attracted to them. Moving right along, another tweed, really pretty, very classic looking which is why I love this collection so much and the price is so reasonable. Very, very pretty. So if you're into a black tweed bag that looks classic, the medium size one, it's to me, this is very reasonable. Another Chanel 19, this one is another version of their Chanel ribbons that they made. Very pretty. I actually really like it, except that the price range has just gone crazy lately. So I'm just glad that I already have one. Um, but let's also talk about their mini cocoa handle right here. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Why is it so expensive? It's because of the embellishments, the crystal embellishments. This one, I really don't mind that it is in velvet. The way I think of it is if I'm going to go for kind of like a different type of fabric, I'll go for the smallest bag possible. So the vertical shape, mini 2.55 reissue, interesting, in shirling, love the color, iridescent lamb skin, so pretty. Another white. They're doing a lot of white this season, which I'm loving. I am a big fan of white. I'm a big fan, except that I am also scared of it. So I won't be getting any, <laughs> but I just love the fact that they're doing so many white bags. So in my personal collection, the bag that is closest to a white color bag is my Coco Handle in the very light gray. Chanel Gabrielle bags. Again, another one of my favorite shape. I often get asked whether I love the new medium size. Again, I have not tried it in person because I already own two mini Gabrielle and I'm really happy with my mini Gabrielle and I'm really happy with the size. I just also think that the new medium size is amazing. It just really depends how it looks like on your body frame. So it's so, so subjective, which is the reason why I always, always suggest that you try it in person because... It's so personal of a choice, but yeah, the new medium size is an amazing size. And like I said, the price difference is so minimal. It really, really, the really the only way that you can choose is based on you trying it in person because only you will know whether it's the right size for you. For me, the mini size is so good already. And I am particularly in love with the color gold. You guys know that I love gold. So all right, my favorite colors, black, white, gold, red, burgundy. Those are all my favorite colors. You guys already know my collection consists of all those colors, basically. And this gold color is no exception. If I wasn't being so sensible about not adding so many duplicates in my collection, I would snatch this. Anyway, moving right along. Interesting. They're doing a lot of the Chanel perfume bottle in the costume jewelry in the 20A season and now they're doing it in their bags. Of course, they would probably cost an arm and a leg. These ones we already talked about earlier. Let's take a look at their burgundy color Coco Handle. Loving the season's burgundy. They're just right on the money. It can look like a brown bag. It can look like a red bag. I know a lot of people are big fans of the shiny gold hardware on the Coco handle because they used to only make it in the vintage gold, which is a really nice change. This particular color looks amazing in the larger size. Small leather goods are super addictive. And like I mentioned, they did a lot of these pearl embellishments. Another very novelty-ish item. Just so cute. The price is quite steep though, don't get me wrong. I love the look, but it is steep. It is essentially a glorified card holder suspended with a detachable pearl strap. 
which is arguable whether it's worth it or not. If it brings you enough joy and you love it that much, this is the look. Go for it. So yeah, they have this tiny, tiny little version or they have this mini wallet on chain version. 15.5 centimeters is very small. It won't fit your large phone, uh, the, um, the Max phone. I mean, it might fit if you don't use a case and also if you don't mind that it, it might expand, it might stretch the leather here in the gussets area. They're having a lot of these bigger, larger CC ones. I think it's very pretty. I'm just not really into wallet on chains myself. They are quite pricey now and I would rather just pay an extra thousand or fifteen hundred just to get the real bag, personally speaking. But I do like that they changed the wallets on chains to the magnetic closures now because one of the things that I never really liked about the ones that are in older style is that they have the snap button closure. Okay, speaking of really tiny glorified card holder with a chain, I would get this one. It won't be as practical, obviously, but white bags in general are not practical to begin with. So I don't, I can't imagine myself wearing a white classic flap that often anyway. They also made the diamond shape in the belt bag version. Again, very, very tiny, super novelty is so, so tiny. Look at the dimensions, so tiny. Um, I wouldn't go there personally. I would rather get something like this. I just find that crossbody bags in general are always more user-friendly and just less trendy than belt, the belt version. But if you have a specific look you're going after, say you love to cinch in blazers and you love to wear belts often, then go for it. I think that you will get a lot of use out of it. This is a mini wallet on chain, again, in the really pretty white color. I love it because of the white color. I also love it because it is the mini wallet on chain, which is much, much wider. Something that I learned from you guys, given the classic wallet on chain shape being a lot more thinner, I just feel like the mini version could be the new it wallet on chain. Personally, not a pouch person per se, because they're kind of not quite a clutch, but not quite an SLG that I need. I usually skip over these for that reason because unless they have a longer chain or a top handle of sort, I would normally not consider them because they're not quite novelty enough and they're not quite practical enough and they don't have that luxurious clutch look to me either so they're kind of like in the too casual category this is interesting i have been a big fan of phone holders and phone clutches in general lately something that i am actively looking into maybe getting although this one is basically an open pouch with a chain i much prefer having a turn lock a little flap perhaps this Wallet on chain, so pretty looking. However, the price is quite up there. I would much rather get a proper seasonal rectangular bag that I just talked about. The round clutch, I have one from when they did the iridescent beige and the iridescent black. This one is cute. So if you're into it, go for it. They have increased their price significantly though. That's the reality with Chanel and all luxury brands. That's because they can. Okay, so I'm just gonna move right along until I see something that I really, really like. Again, a lot of the bigger CC, which is the Chanel 19 bigger CC. Again, this season we're seeing a lot of these kind of glorified card holder with a chain on it. This is in that beautiful tweed that I like with the Chanel ribbon across, the gold Chanel across. I think that this tweed is done so, so, so nicely. I am loving this tweed. But one thing that I always caution is that if you can't get the bag with the material that you want, don't just go for the SLG unless you also have a use for this particular style of SLG just because otherwise it will just sit in the corner and $1,600 sitting in a corner is still a lot of money. So that's something that I do caution you guys in general. They're doing again the trendy CC, mini trendy CC on chain. Love, love, love the look. But again, it's just a novelty item. 
you don't need that many novelty items so unless you don't have one already and you're ready for one then go right ahead especially this white color is so beautiful this season we're also seeing a lot of that deep purple color purple has just been all the rage all summer long as well but they are switching it to a deeper purple this season such as this wallet as well very very beautiful deep purple loving this card holder it's in silver with a beautiful gold accented cc in the gabrielle style as well airpod cases <laughs> so many of them it's ridiculous how expensive they are but as ridiculous as they are if you're into them get it now because i think they're only gonna get more expensive as they become even more popular that's how they get you to spend the money let's move right along to costume jewelry one of my favorite things to look at every single season without exception this season is a lot about the baroque very vintage style super chunky huge embellishments very very statement bracelet it's just so so out there but if you have a big sleeve wear this on top of your sleeve so stunning very expensive though not something that i would particularly get because baroque is a style in itself very very um specific and also very seasonal so i love the look i appreciate it i just won't get it myself because they are timeless in a way, but it's very cyclical. Super beautiful Baroque pearl style bracelet. Exceptional details. If I can pull off bracelets in general, because I mean, this piece is stunning. <laughs> Someone please get it if you can pull it off. I have much daintier wrists, so probably not the best idea for me to get something like this let's just move right along again more of the same design very colorful but they also have a lot of white theme or black and white just very wintry very fall appropriate another very chunky bracelet the kind of embellishment that's more vintage These earrings have been all the rage with all the personal shoppers posting it online and they are stunning. Love these pearl earrings, more vintage looking style. Unfortunately, a lot of them this season does have the tapered post. More problematic if you have very sensitive ears and if you have very tight skin. That's my problem so I'm avoiding a lot of the earrings this season because of that reason. But just in general, I'm loving a lot of the styles, even this one. A lot of the seasonal bags, novelty SLGs, and even costume jewelry are so classic looking, which is why I love this collection in general. Lots of pearls option of this season to choose from. This necklace, for example, is one of those that's very easy to style, especially over a bigger sweatshirt in the winter, over a button-up shirt, just a very easy piece. It is kind of a little bit more pricey, but I guess because this pendant and this chain is a little longer, which is probably why they are pricing it as such. This is a cute little pendant as well. If you're into pearls, if you're a super big fan of pearls, I personally would recommend it. For shoes, I'm not going to talk about it a lot, but for sure a standout is these pairs of boots with the color blocking. I just find them so, so stunning. The style is very classic also, it's just almond pointed toe. I'm sure you'll get a lot of wear out of it if you're into high heel boots you can probably bust them out every single year these ones also look really pretty also very statement so i wouldn't call these classic looking even though they are pearl embellishments just of because of the way they position their pearls it's kind of in your face but nevertheless i am very attracted to them they're ready to wear this season has been absolutely stunning Definitely how I would love to dress if I could afford everything. Again, loving how these boots look like, loving these slightly boxier tweed jackets, just very cozy looking, but also really, really elegant. 
beautiful Baroque style statement necklaces on their collar. It's just stunning. The diamond shape handbag, that seasonal bag that they have, looks so big, right? The size is quite generous for a seasonal kind of more novelty item. So I would consider it if you're into this shape. Runway pieces are never really that easy to to wear and to pull off but this collection i just find a lot of the pieces very wearable such as this beautiful jacket i would love to get it in black perhaps not sure about the scallops but i do love the detail and if you already have more than enough classic looking jackets why not get something different just loving the large big collars if you have a beautiful waist to show off and you love wearing belts i do think that something statement like this in your wardrobe will be a great little accent especially if you choose like a more neutral color that goes with everything i mean look at this this whole look is so simple yet so elegant and just so well put together love 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 this jacket if i didn't already want one that's more classic straighter not quite the seasonal scallop look i would definitely consider it it's so so pretty love how they are wearing these scarves and a big big necklace on top just the look itself is just so good and so elegant love 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 these big big collars i'm always into a good jacket and a good blazer notice every single model has been wearing these boots these boots are fire and even when they're wearing the very bright colors it matches because this burgundy color blocking with black is magnificent it's so neutral and because it's just a little bit of an accent it works it really does work Loving this mini cocoa handle. These tights are kind of all the rage all over social media, but it's a very seasonal thing. I personally wouldn't get it just because they're just tights, but they are cute, not gonna lie. You see what I mean about this bag? It's just so, so stunning, and yet still looks so classic because of the rectangular shape, even though it's a seasonal bag, and the color blocking on this is just stunning. Definitely one of those collection that's dreamy, yet still wearable. I keep repeating myself, but I do find that this collection is extremely beautiful, extremely elegant, extremely vintage Baroque style, but still very wearable and modern and I'm a big fan. Let me know down below what are the standout pieces for you or what you plan on getting from this collection or did you even like it at all because some people are not really big fans of the new direction and the new director yet but I'm curious to know. I certainly have my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back so please do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!